I flew to Louisiana and went offshore fishing with my two good buddies, Casey and Captain Blake. We were fishing on a 365 tie line and our goal was to catch monster yellowfin tuna. But before we could start catching tuna, we had to catch bait. So we went out of the pass and found a huge school of threadfin herring. We quickly filled the live wells and proceeded further offshore to a buoy where I found something really nice. There he is, there he is, see him right there, see him right there? He's right there just chilling, see him? Eat it? Does he? No. Oh, he spit, oh! <laughs> Go beyond! Ah. Nice 30 pounder, dude. Hey, that's me! Woo! On the way for tuna fishing, getting me a cobia. There he is. Get him, get him. Yes, get him in the boat. Woo! 30 pounder, baby. There you go. Look at that. That's a nice way to start the trip. Yes, man, catching bait on a nice cobia on the buoy. Got one in the dude, box. the second we came out, I saw him. Oh, there he is, there he is. I thought he was actually a little bigger, but we'll take him. Take that's yeah. our tuna dinner. Good work. We got a Kobe off the buoy. There are some triple tail there as well. So we're gonna get a live Manhattan right now. We're gonna get back on that buoy. I'm gonna pitch a uh, live Manhattan right in front of the triple tail and we'll see if they eat it. Piped it. There we it. go, got him. There you go. Got him. Nice one, dude. Yeah. Oh, another, another Kobe, another Kobe, another Kobe. Get, get a live bait, get a live bait, get a live bait. I knew I saw another Kobe in there, dude. Dude, there's more Kobe. Oh my gosh, he's right here, he's right here. He's Kobe right here. Oh, yeah. He's right here. He's gonna pipe it. He's gonna pipe it. What? 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 He's gonna smoke it. Oh, he nearly missed it. Pitch back in. Pitch back in. Pitch back in. There he is. Oh, there he goes. Get it. Get it. You got him. Get him. Get him. Yes. Yes, Blake. Get him. Get him. Yes. Get the gas. Get the gas. Get the gas. Get the gas. Get him, Mike Green. You lost him? Dude, he was hooked completely through the lip. What? He might come back, dude. He's a buoy fish. All right, let me go get another bait. Little guy right there. That is one good eating fish. I think that one, I don't know if he's legal. Is he against 15 inches, Blake? What? I don't know if this one's legal. You gotta keep him. Wanna let him go? Yeah. Nice triple tail. Let him grow a little bit. Let him grow. All right, buddy. See ya. I can't believe that cobia came off. I think I saw the hood buried through. After catching the cobia and triple tail, we proceeded to go further offshore to our tuna spot. On the way there, we found a floating tree and there were thousands of fish swimming underneath it. I saw two really nice mahi swimming around the tree. I quickly grabbed a bait, pitched it in there, and the mahi got fired up. Did he eat it? Did he eat it? Yeah. He's eating, he's eating, he's eating, he's eating. Yeah, stop there, you go. there we go, baby. There we go, baby. You want to get the other one, right? Yeah. Nice dolphin, dude. Woo! Yes! It's green. Oh, so green, dude. Yeah, all right, you didn't know what just happened. You didn't know. All right, look at that dolphin right there. Nice one, about I don't know, 15 pounds. Got some great footage of him swimming around the wreck. And there's more down there, guys. Let's catch him. Woo, he's hungry. We just pulled the mahi off this thing. I don't know, what was it, like a floating tree or something like that? We're marking something down deep. There's probably a wahoo down there. Let's drop this jig down right here. See this guy? And we'll see if they eat it. So here we go, wahoo time. Blue. You can't see 30, 40 foot. There we go. There's your wahoo. There's your wahoo. Woo! Move this wahoo, move this wahoo, please. Good. There's that mahi right there. What you got on there? Fighting oh, pretty good. Oh yeah, wahoo! Here he comes, you bud! Woo! Yes, sir! Swing down, come on down. Come on, come on here, come on here. Ready? Ready? Get him, get him. Pick him. Good. That's what I'm talking about, dude. On the jig. On the jig. Got it yes. done. That's a wahoo right there. Not a giant one. But we know there's more than one of them down there. Dude, I knew it, bro. I knew it. There had to be a wahoo on there. We tried catching more dolphin and wahoo, but they weren't biting. So we decided to pack it up and head 50 miles further offshore to a drilling ship 
with a tuna were. We started marking fish really good. So we put out our live baits and within a few hours, we were hooked up to a giant. Big tuna on, big tuna. Don't do anything stupid. Look, look at him running, look at him running. Don't mess with the drag. Don't even look at the drag. Going deep. Let him go, let him do his thing because that's what he's going to do. I just puked like twice. The winds picked up huge. Everything just got big. We just put out a live thread fin and we are tight. This is a good fish right here. It's a really good fish. This is my first yellowfin right here, first big yellowfin. I'm loving it. I love fish that can just humble you. you can catch small fish all day. It's the big fish that, that push your limits, your physical and mental limits. This fish took easily 200 yards of line on that first run. It oh, just, yeah. it dumped almost the entire reel. So fast. 300 feet quick. He, he took 200 yards in 20 seconds. Oh yeah. Good thing that what I like about here is there's no sharks that are eating your fish. So you don't feel like super stressed out. Oh, I gotta land it as fast as possible or else it's gonna get eaten. There you go. Making some progress here. Gain a lot of line right there. Oh, this plate is good. Oh, we got him at 150 on the good. side. Good. So we, awkward. We can do a, a hot splice. You said, there's a, you said there's a bigger plate. Oh, that one's yeah, beautiful. A plate Why on don't you use that one? Oh, dude. That, that is one's so twisted, sorry. Tough. So much better. It's actually sitting on my legs now. Try forward a little bit and turn. All right. There you go. Perfect. It's a really big fish. That one ate a greenie, huh? Not gonna lie. There you go. I'm so there hungry, dude. Get it. I, I might eat this tuna when he comes Keep up. Keep him coming. Keep him coming. Keep him coming. I don't like this at all. It's very strange. It's like he's getting eaten or something. Giving his last effort, dude. That's a big fish. Don't act weird like that. I keep that line tight. That's the most important thing. It's getting close, dude. We're getting very close now. I just love how there's no sharks you're trying to eat, dude. The only thing that's gonna come here is like a giant marlin or something to try to eat them. Yeah. Which is fine. Kind of running at this spot. Big game, fish. Dude. You, you, got him at, you had him at 130. Had him at 100. Now he's at 75. Back up a little bit. Back up. Back up. We're pulling against him. Guys, I, I literally puked twice before we hooked this fish, like m big time seasickness, like monster. But well, let me tell you something, you puke and you keep going. You never give up. Don't let the weather beat you down. You gotta keep fighting. You never know when you're gonna hook this big fish. There he is right there. This, I think this is closer to 100 pounds. He might be getting chased by something, dude. No, he's, gonna make a, he's gonna make his little run and then you're gonna be able to probably gain some after that. Looking extra heavy. Like you almost could have got tail wrapped or something. How long have you been fighting this fish for? What, 30 minutes? Oh, easy. That's crazy. It's four or something, I think. Oh, he's gonna get to a point where he's gonna let you gain 30, 40 foot real quick. So you gotta take advantage when he does. Broke 50 feet for the first time, Bubba. Doing Beautiful. Good. Doing good. Now, push now, him, Gary. Push him a light tackle. We are. Imagine if we had 200 pound mono oh, and it could be over with. We would wreck this fish. Unfortunately, they won't eat that. Now, right? Small hooks and small leader. There's that run. We want to try to keep the boat still if we can. So that's every time we're getting on the motors. He's yeah. He, every time he changes an RPM, pull. he yep. starts pulling harder. So if we can sit still, that'll be best. There he is. All right, we got deep oh, color on. We got him. He's big, dude. He's a nice fish. Doing his counterclockwise turns every time. Every time. You know, in the southern hemisphere, they, they turn clockwise. Come on. I'm joking. I'm joking. No, no. It's called the Coriolis effect, dude. It's pretty incredible. There he is. Oh yeah. Get ready for the gap. Get ready for the gap. Big sickle fins. Wow. Slow and steady, just like you've been doing. Nice and easy right here, because you got the knots coming up. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Nice and easy, nice yeah, and easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Here we go, boys. <laughs> That's a fish right there, That's my man. That's a fish, man. Get him in the boat. That's a fish right there, come on. Get him in the boat, yeah! <laughs> That's a That's what fish, I'm talking baby! About. Yes. Got it done. <laughs> oh, baby, you come here right now. <laughs> That's the biggest tuna of my life. Oh. Right, 
right? That's a real one, boys. Yeah, that's the fish we're looking for right there. Oh, that's a big tuna. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, he's got to be what, 100, 110? Oh, yeah. That's a cow. Look at those sickle fish, dude. Man. Oh, so heavy. Big boy, how you doing? <laughs> I literally was at a 9.5 out of 10 in seasickness. I puked. I was just dry heaving, dry heaving. I was puking while that fish hit the line. It took every ounce of strength out of me because I had no strength in me when I hit it. I just that was just pure adrenaline and passion right there. That's all. That's what brought that fish to the boat. And my gosh, I'm debating whether we go back and catch more or we go in and celebrate. And I mean, we got four of the best eating fish in the world out there. We got cobia, we got wahoo, we got dolphin, and we got yelp and tuna. I and mean, we got the whole range covered there in terms of eating fish. Blake? What you think? It's gonna be a good meal. It's gonna be a good meal? <laughs> it's gonna be a good we meal. We got a lot of we options. We need to get some rice and some veggies. That's all we and need. I think, I, think, I think we're really good. Everything else we got. Yeah. Are we gonna go back and catch one? That's y'all's call. I say we give it 30 minutes, because that took five minutes with that fish. And then we Sounds go Sounds good. Because I'm about to die. There you go, we got a lot of tuna meat. One tuna. That size? That's 80 pounds of meat in that thing. A lot of meat. <laughs> so, after we caught the big tuna, we went back and tried to catch more tuna, and the weather got really, really bad. So, we packed everything up, headed in, got to bed at what, like midnight? Close to it, yep. Yeah. Yeah, give or take. Oh, I'm still pretty tired. Are you tired? Oh, yeah. A little wore out. Oh, what a day, though. We got, we got a Wahoo, we got a dolphin, we got a cobia, and we got a 100 plus pound yellowfin tuna. I mean, Pelagic slam, dude. Before we close the video off, we have to weigh the tuna. But before we weigh the tuna, guys, just gotta give a huge thanks to my buddy Blake here, my buddy Casey. Appreciate Casey it. brought this tie line with him. This is his boat, tie line. Dude, this 36.5 tie line is unreal. Awesome Appreciate boat. It. If you guys wanna check out tie line boats, the link is in the description. We're gonna be filming some shows on our 23.5. We got that back in Florida, but we had a fish on 36.5. And Casey, dude, appreciate you. No problem. Guys, this Do it guy, again, man. he picked the tuna up all by himself. <laughs> no, like a man. Help. Had some help. Dude, that was impressive. Blake, Captain Blake, if you guys are in Louisiana yes, and you sir. want to catch Gelf and tuna, this is the guy you call right here. Captain, look at that face. He, he's, that face is designed for yellowfin and tuna. Right? There you go. That's what you Get were talking about yesterday. You were, you were born on this earth to catch yellow and tuna. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's right. If you guys want to catch big tuna, Blake, link in the description. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. There we go. Good? Yep. Roll with it. I'm gonna record that thing going all the way up. Up we go. What's the best guess win, Josh? I say buck ten. Buck ten. They copied my guess from yesterday, Blake. Hey, you can't, I can't do that. I don't know. They said, yeah, 110. I thought there were rules about this 110 kind of sounds good. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, Who was oh, right, oh, baby? 121. Yeah, we 121. Oh. On the Come price on. is right, we all <laughs> lost. What? Nice. 121? It's a beast, guys. 121, biggest tuna of my life. Very nice. Got a good one.